Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check your other placements. What's coming up for Sagittarius when it comes to love? Oh my gosh. So we have unexpected. Oh my God, what is that? Ooh. Oh, I didn't get to kill it. I didn't get to kill it. It's gone. Oh well. New love. Sagittarius. Intuition, relationship. Wow. Some of you may unexpectedly find someone new. You could also unexpectedly be receiving communication. I've been seeing that for almost all the signs. <laughs> communication coming in unexpectedly. So it could be both. But you definitely ended up in a relationship. You're definitely being asked to follow your intuition. When it comes to this, what's coming up for Sagittarius? Differences at odds. Physical differences resolving an issue. What you think will pull you apart will pull you together. Changes on the horizon. Outside opinions don't matter. We have divine energy. And karma. Let's one more. New love again. Oh my gosh. So maybe even a new person coming in for sure. They may be very different from you. Could be from a different country. Um, where you guys look different, different backgrounds. We have meet the family. Hmm. Let's see. Let's look at your spread. What do we have for Sagittarius when it comes to love? What do we have for Sagittarius when it comes to love? Goodness. I just saw 222 two, two on the clock. That's another thing that, that's been happening for all of these readings. Synchronicity is every time I look at the clock, it says it's an angel number. And this same message of someone coming back unexpectedly, like someone reaching out unexpectedly. So I think you should take this message serious. Some of you may be letting go of that person. Um, Four of Pentacles in reverse, but they that don't stop them from reaching out. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Gemini, a Leo. Definitely going to be in communication with more than one person with new love here as well. So there is someone here who sees you as their partner. This could be the person, the past person. And I feel like that because they have the four of swords as their feelings towards you. So there, this is someone who's been possibly, possibly you've been in separation from them and they've been thinking about you. Feeling strongly towards you and still feeling like you are with them. But I'm hearing that they're going to get the shock of their life because some of you have this new love coming in. They could come back to find you with someone new and be shocked. I feel like they never expected it, especially with the unexpected card. Um, there's still attraction here, but there is... I was blocking this as a five of cups. Someone let someone go here. And you may be upset with them, so they could have let you go and you're upset with them. They seem, to, they seem to have needed a break, but some of you might move on during that break, during that separation. You're seeing them as an the ace of wands. Some of you, this could be how you're seeing a new person as exciting, new, and very attractive. But it could also be you seeing this person trying to have a new chance with you. Your outcome is a seven of swords. I feel like some of you might run from the ex. I don't know, maybe this new love is like way more exciting. There's someone here who wants to restore balance with you. They could be a Libra. But you're seeing this as possibly 
a failure, like you are seeing the worst in the situation with this past person while they're trying to restore balance. I, don't, I feel like you guys are not on the same page. It could be that you get... So I feel like a small amount of you could get back with this person with the hangman being here, but the seven of swords is telling me that a lot of you are running off with a new love. You, it's like this new love is able to get you to forget about the past person. So, hmm. Interesting. Let's get some clarification. See what else is going on here. All right. Why is this person feeling the Four of Swords towards Sagittarius? Four of Cups. A lot of fours coming out. They may have been bored or unsatisfied here. Why, why is this happening? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why the Four of Swords? Four of Swords in reverse. So this is someone who decided to be on a break and they, they decide to come back to you when they feel like it. You see, Chariot, they, they were on a break. They feel like they can go and come as they please. They feel like you're just gonna be there waiting for them when they come back. Some of you, they could be manipulative, so they may have used tactics on, tactics on you thinking that they, these tactics have worked, and so you'll be right there waiting when they come back. They're gonna get the shock of their life, that's what I keep hearing. It's like your guides are seeing it as this comedic, funny thing where they see, they see it before this person sees it, like they're sitting there like, yep. Wait till they come back and see this. <laughs> Why the knight, not the knight, why the king of wands in reverse? Yeah, you, they may have made you jealous about something. Yeah, it could have been options. Some of you, they could have explored options. This could have made you jealous and angry. With the knight of cups in reverse, king of wands in reverse. This is an angry fire sign and it's to do with jealousy and options. This person not making up their mind. It doesn't have to be options. It could be them being indecisive. It's either indecision or options, but it made you angry. Made you angry. Why the Seven of Swords is the outcome. Yeah, some of you are leaving this person behind. They're going to experience this Five of Cups. They're having a hard time moving on from you, but this is someone who keeps going and coming as they please. You're freeing yourself from this type of situation, going into a more stable connection. So you may have been the one who was suffering every time they left. You had to like get over them, get on by yourself. You're leaving that behind. What are the messages for Sagittarius? Codependency, yeah. They may have gotten you to get hooked on them, using manipulation tactics, leaving you, coming back. We have growth here. You've grown from that. Maybe in the past you took them back. You've grown. You got dream come true. More stable connection coming in and separation. So I feel like you're leaving someone behind who keeps um, keeps running from you, keeps going and coming. What are the love messages for Sagittarius? Twin flame, spiritual alignment, effortless. Some of you are meeting your twin flame or soulmates. Obstacle, blocks, pathways, delays. So you're realizing that a toxic relationship is a block for this relationship that you really want. We have date and queen opportunities, date abundance. You could be exploring options first when you meet someone new, which will cause you to meet someone new. Could be someone at work, we have work, profession, colleague, workplace. What's coming up for Sagittarius when it comes to love? Time apart, not for you. Options, past love is the same message, Sagittarius. Being sick of being in separation constantly with someone and just feeling like it's not it's no longer for you. You're exploring options. Gala on messages coming in, love options, people showering showering you love with love. 
but you'll be choosing this one person who you feel is perfect for you there's one person within in the midst of all these options that you are going to choose hmm oh yeah but this person over here they see you as they still they still see you as theirs like they have this idea that they could come and go as they please they have a strong hold on you that you're going to always be there even when you're in separation they feel like you guys are still together but it's like you're the one suffering through the separations why the hands man page of cups so there's a this new love could be what changes your perspective makes you see that what this person was giving you in the past was not it for you four of cups your perspective is being changed on what someone is giving you so say they're they're just not giving you enough they come and go and then when they do come back you know they don't take you out or you know they don't do anything for you they just they're just there and then they're not there and then they're there so you're gonna some some new person is gonna come in and show you real treatment okay that's what i'm seeing so sagittarius i'm gonna extend this reading if you'd like to see the extended the link will be in the description it allows you to access every extended reading that i do for the month it's like a monthly subscription I also do the rising signs, which I haven't done yet, but it's there. I'll be doing mid-month rising signs, so it's specific to your rising sign. Hopefully, it's more like a personal reading because the rising sign changes every two hours. So feel free to subscribe to that if you want to see the extended part of this reading. I'm going to look more at this person's feelings or hopefully the new person, see who the new person is. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.